Hey, Dr. Shelby here with See Better MD. And Dr. Luca. Who, of course, is my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we want to talk a little bit about dry eye. Now, this video is not going to cover dry eye in its entirety because it's a very complex mechanism. You have to think about your tear film like a sandwich. There's a mucousy layer that lines the eye, then there's the watery film, then there's an oily layer on top. Any disruption of any one or all of those layers can cause dry eye syndrome. Now, when that aqueous or watery layer is deficient, there's a number of things that can be done over the counter and in the clinic that will help boost that layer, retain the tears, and help you feel better. One of those is... Plex. Sounds kind of strange, but it's a very simple process. I've been using this before. Let me use it one more time. In your eyelids, there are two openings, one in the lower eyelid, one in the upper eyelid. They take moisture, tears, from the surface with your blink and drain it back in your throat. That's why so often you're going to notice that when you put a drop in your eye, you can taste it. Well, yeah, because it ends up in the back of your throat. If you have deficient amount of tears, and we see it by amount of tears that gets deposited on the lower eyelid, we call it tear film or tear meniscus or tear lake, then what we suggest to people is to plug one of those holes. The bottom one takes about 80% of your tears. The upper takes about 20 to drain. So we leave the upper usually un unplugged and we put a little plug in a lower. Initially, we started with permanent plugs. We put them in. You can actually see them when you pull your eyelids and they work fine. The problem is that some people develop sensitivity to it. So we had to take them out Actually, sometimes there was a little growth showing around this plug, so we had to use some steroids to calm it down. Right now, 99, I would say, percent of plugs that we use here are soluble, soluble plugs. When he said soluble, he means soluble. Yes, that's what I meant. We put it in within three, four months, it just dissolves and, and drains the back of your throat. Most of my patients, they notice when it happened. That's when they call, they say, hey, I think I need a new set of plugs, and we do it. The one thing to remember, if your eyelid gets really crusty, if you have all these burning sensations and, and crust in the morning, it may not be the best idea to put a plug in because you probably has have overgrowth of bacteria on the surface of your eyelid. So let us clean it up first, get rid of this bacteria, get rid of what we call blepharitis, then it will be safe to retain all the rest of tears on the surface of your eye. We don't want it in the eye that is infected to create this cesspool of tears that is, is, is sitting over there and just making your eye even worse than it was before. And if you put a plug in somebody with bad blepharitis, yeah, I promise you, they're going to tell you, I feel worse than I was before. Thank you, Dr. Luca. You're welcome, Dr. Oh. Shelby. That was a great explanation. So these plugs are temporary and they dissolve. We have them that will last about three months. We have some that will last six months. And a lot of times patients will come in, we'll put these plugs in, and you notice an immediate relief in a lot of your symptoms. Most patients don't have to use artificial tears near as much and they do get good relief and we can replace those plugs as needed. When you see better, you live better. That's right. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more eye-related content and leave a comment below if you have any questions about anything eye-related because when you see better, you live better.